the deception of religion says you are okay with the gift of righteousness that you obtained through the law of grace that's okay the gospel of life incorruption immortality and sonship with the bond servant of christ john anosike then the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins which took their lamps and went forward to meet the bridegroom and five of them were where wise where not are <laughs> okay and five were foolish some folks think that all the efforts all your sacrifices studying the scriptures obeying scriptures coming to Bible studies and services and growing in the spirit that you were stupid uh -uh. those things you've been doing over the years are the things that made you wise have time I don't have time I don't, I, don't, I don't feel got encouraged I can't read the scriptures I don't know I'm working I can pray I, I struggle to pray no problem that's a position of the foolish so the five were wise from the day they got born again And the foolish had excuses. The five foolish virgins called him Lord. So that means Jesus was their Lord. But Jesus was their Lord in their mouth. Not their Lord in heart. Not their Lord in the secret place. Jesus is their Lord in church. Jesus is their Lord when good music is raised with strings. So they come into that massage of beautiful worship. But the word of God has no major impact in their conducts, in their lifestyle, in the secret place. in their relationships, in the words that proceed from their mouths, in the deepest part of their hearts, God's word has no major influence on them. And Jesus said, you call me Lord, Lord, but your hearts are far away. That's what he said to the Pharisees. They call me Lord, they call on God, they speak about the things of God, but, but, but the laws of God have no influence in their lives. So they say, Lord, 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 open for us, let's go. He answered and said, verily, I say unto you, verily, I tell you the truth. I want to tell you something about why I denied you. He says, I do not know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. So what is it that then qualified them virgins? The grace of Jesus qualified them virgins. But the faith of Christ did not sanctify them to qualify to be known and captured in the dimension of intimacy with Christ. Now, here's the point. Grace qualifies us to receive the gift of right standing with God. 
which now gives you the legal access to come into the holy of holies to be captured in that dimension of fellowship and intimacy with the presence of the father now the deception of religion says you are okay with the gift of righteousness that you obtained through the law of grace that's okay there's nothing you can do Jesus did it and finished it to nothing yet what disqualified them was no oil They had no oil, but I thought that grace gave the oil. Now, some preacher will say, do you not see that the Bible says, I do not know you. So they're going to lie to you to say, don't you know that they were not born again? That's what it is. I know what these guys are saying. It's because they're, they're trying to defend their theology. They're trying to defend their positions. But I can assure you that these guys were born again. How do I know? Let's get back to the first scripture. The parable of the ten virgins. It means that these guys were righteous, they were pure, and they were holy. They've been declared righteous with God. So they were virgins. In other words, they qualified as brides. So the virginity means that they are legit brides of the bridegroom. And remember that they began with the journey to meet with their bridegroom. For them to qualify as brides, it means that they have received the gift of righteousness. They are qualified virgins. So they were born again. They were born again. But they refused sanctification through the works of faith. They refused sanctification through the pruning of the spirit. They refused sanctification through the brokenness of the spirit. They refuse sanctification to the concept that hallelujah you can do whatever you want and come out of it as you want uh, uh, have you heard what that person said that jesus doesn't exist oh have you heard oh that man of god is a false prophet have you heard oh i don't believe okay i just heard a very smart statement that says that jesus was not in existence see you paid more attention to no things that are not biblical and you have aligned yourself amongst the group that are foolish. Because by the time the last trumpet sounds, everybody's gonna wake up. And you wouldn't realize that this same Yeshua has always been the truth that the world is trying to hide from human creatures. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike.
due to malicious and fraudulent activities. Please note that these are the only official two accounts of the Ministry. For EFT or Bank Transfer Bank, First National Bank, FNB, Account Name, New World Faith Ministries, Account Number, 6226-0048, Branch, Woodstock, Branch Code, 250655, Swift Code, F-I-R-N-Z-A-J-J Building Project Banking Details City of Sons Bank First National Bank FNB Account Name New World Faith Ministries Account Number 623-569-03578 Branch Code 250655 Branch Woodstock Swift Code F I R N Z A J J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via PayFast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 11700020753. Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus 27634235895 or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org.